<laughs> okay, well, aloha, everybody. My name is Grant Chapman, born and raised here in Honolulu, Hawaii, um, with my good buddy here and one of my top leaders in Hawaii, uh, Leilani Mayer. And so we just came from our tour from Hawaii. We are in Honolulu now. And next, we are heading to everybody. Maui uh, here tomorrow for a um, to meet with more of our distributors. And we've been working really hard right now on the, uh, the, the detox program that Alan launched, also to the Well Spa, and of course, La Pestanita, <laughs> the eyelash serum, <laughs> the Spanish. So the, the serum as well. And so... We've been having an amazing time. And so today I wanted to chat with you and kind of just explain a little bit how to do sales, because sometimes we, you know, maybe get confused or we don't, or we don't like sales or we're having a hard time. Um, and I just want to kind of clear that up and give you some steps that will help you to make more sales. Put a number one in the chat if you would like to make more sales. All right, put a number one in the chat if you would like to make more sales. Um, yeah, everybody's like, yes, yeah, more smart spent. That's four to five more. Okay, so how how do we make more sales? That's gonna be what we're gonna talk about. So first, if you're if you're writing these down, I'm gonna give you the headings, and then we can go ahead and chat. And if and if someone wants to type in the chat because I'm driving that or like because we're on the road, it's fine. Um, but first. We're going to talk about the, the sales process, building relationships, sales techniques, digital sales and e-commerce. Raina's going to love that one. And also sale analytics, sales training and development, the uh, uh, psychology of sales, challenge, challenges of modern sales, sales ethics, and the future of sales. Hopefully we get through all 10 of these in, in 20 minutes. So I'm going to do my best, okay? I will do my best. Okay, so the first one is going to be about the sales process. And so normally how a sales process works is very simply you contact somebody, you know, basically there you have something, they're interested you give them some benefits and then they buy. Like that's literally the process, right? But a little more in depth is that I always think really good salespeople aren't being pushy. They're not being sleazy. The process is very kind of seamless. It's very effortless. Um, that's why I love sales so much is I've noticed it can be really effortless. And now how do we get that process to be effortless? Number one, we find out what their need is. Like, what is their need? So yesterday we had a meeting um, and these two ladies, we had to find out what their need was. And their need was help. And they wanted to get rid of some of this coloration on their face. Like, you know, the manchas, right? The dark spots. And so it was so easy. I said, okay, wonderful. We have a couple options for you. This is what we have for help. This is what we have for dark spots. Which ones would you like? You know, very like, you know, very not, you know, very easy. But to go one step further, um, before that, we sat together for about 15, 15 minutes. And I just asked them questions about themselves. So number one, sales process, A, ask good questions. We call it form, family, occupation, recreation, and motivation or money can do whatever you know, motivation or money is fine what motivates you or how much money do you make um family occupation recreation and motivation and so what what's going to happen is that when people start explaining to you about their family their friends their recreation occupation what motivates them um you're building number two you're building a relationship with them and you want to have something that you can be in common, right? Like, like one great one is our friend from Chihuahua, right? Here, she just said, right? Um, Erica. Erica's from Chihuahua. She's from Mexico. So the reason why I kind of asked, as you can see, is I've been to Mexico. Por, por eso hablo español. No, no mucho palabras. I don't have a lot. 
that connect with Latinos. And so I would ask her where in Chicago, where in, you know, different parts she lives. And we created a relationship. And now I can move forward to help her with whatever she would like to purchase. And or maybe she just needs help with something. You know, that's that's really what we're here to do. We're, we're not here to sell anyone anything. We're here to help them with what they already need, which is so wonderful, right? So that's how I look at sales. I don't look at it as like, okay, I'm going to sell my friend Rose this beautiful scarf that she's wearing. No, I would say, you know, I would ask her what she's looking for. And Rose is always, I, I love you. You look so cute today, Rose. That's so, always, but I was like, I loved her scarf from earlier. And like, that brings me to like, I would ask her, Hey, you know, are you looking for something? And then like, you know, name a couple things and you know, you can offer a service that she's already looking for. So it's not very difficult, right? We don't have to pull teeth. So building relationship. Number three, sales techniques. So a couple of techniques I use, if you've ever been with me, a couple of tech techniques that I love is I like to touch people. I, I, I learned this from Alan, actually. Alan high fives people. I don't know if you guys ever noticed this. Alan is kind of funny is that he has these techniques, but he, ne he doesn't really know why he does them because I've had this conversation with him before. I'm like, oh, do you know why you high five people? And he's like, oh, I'm just like excited. So I high five them. And I'm like, actually, that's a way of creating a relationship with them. And that is a way that they start to trust you. Now, if you're a man selling a product or a service to women, you don't want to like, you want to be careful how you touch them. Just, that's just the way it is. Being a guy selling to women, you don't want anyone getting confused, you or them. So best thing to do is you touch their elbow. So like you touch their elbow is what I do. I, I touch their elbow um, or like, or maybe even like the knee. So I touch the elbow, the knee, or like the shoulder is kind of like what I'll do. Oh, and, I, and I high five, right? That's like, that's it. You don't linger. There's no lingering. Okay, guys, no, ling no linger. Man, I don't know how you say linger. I don't know. Like, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't like, <laughs> you know, it's just like, you know, you kind of like touch. You just kind of like touch. Um, that's what you do. And you tap. Thank you. The word is tap. You tap them. But a gent gentle tap, right? And I also high five. So if, if you see anyone like this, you ever been to meetings and people are like this? This is a great time where you want to touch the shoulder. Because if you keep touching the shoulder, keep touching the, I mean, I mean elbow. Thank you. Elbow. Keep touching the elbow. Eventually, they're going to open up. And if their legs are crossed, right? If they cross their legs, I will touch the top knee. I'll keep touching the knee until the knee opens. Because I need them to be open and to receive the information that I'm going to give them. Okay. So that, that's that part of the sales process. Now, if you're kind of like, if you're kind of, if you're not, if you're not, if you don't feel confident in sales, um, then I think that is great. That's really good. If you are too confident in sales, sometimes it doesn't work very well. So I've learned that Manny, this is kind of funny to say, but I have learned to stutter on purpose. So some, 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 sometimes like I'll do that in a meeting just to like bring it down to show them that I'm not so professional, you know, like I try to make it like I'm a common person or like an ordinary person. So some, 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 sometimes I'll just do that just to be like, to kind of like, oh, wow. Yeah. He's, you know, he's, he's trying his best kind of a thing. And then <laughs> it's kind of funny. I actually do that on purpose. And then sometimes I'll actually pull on my collar and I'll like rub my collar. You know, and I'll just kind of like rub my collar kind of like this a little bit. And sometimes when you do that, it shows people that, you know, you're thinking, you might be a little nervous and, and he's still confident. So you can go straight, you're fine. And so that, that's kind of like um, the sales, the sales, uh, sales process, it's a technique. That's a part of the techniques I use. Last thing with techniques is I, I close the sale. I pre-close before I close. For an example, um, hey, you know who we got here? We're just because we're talking about Erica earlier. So like, hey, Erica, I, you know, I heard you were telling me earlier that you had a lot of pain in your shoulder. And um, if, if I could show you a show you a way using a new device to relieve some of that pain just in a few minutes, is that something you would be interested in or would you use it? I mean, what do you think she's going to say? C or no? Or C or C? She's going to be like, yeah, yes, please. Right? Is that right, Erica? See or no, right? We can see her, right? She's like, see, right? She's like, I can see her. She's nodding. So it's a pre-close. And I said, so Erica, okay, so, so if this is a device that you're going to keep using and it has great holistic benefits. 
Um, do you enjoy um, holistic and things that are natural to help heal the pain or the soreness? She's going to be like, yeah, I do. So I do my best to get um, to get uh, seven to eight yeses. I try I do my best to get seven yeses before I ask for the clothes. That's why some people are like, Grant, how did you like get the clothes so easily? Like, and I'm like, well, I actually been closing them for the last hour. <laughs> like, you know, for the entire meeting, I've been asking certain questions. Like if I could help you look younger in five minutes, is that something that would be intriguing for you? Yes. You know, if this is something that, would you use it if you could use it in the shower? Yes. You know, like I ask questions like that. You want people over here, you can go around park over or you can go around to the back. Sorry, we're just driving. Um, okay, so so the next part is going to be uh, digital sales and e-commerce. Okay, so I'm just giving you little nuggets. You can make a right, straight, and then right. I'm giving you little things for e-commerce. So a couple things with digital sales is that when you're posting on like Raina is really good at this too, and so is Yelmi. I don't know if Yelmi's here, but if you are Yelmi, put a high. Uh, Yelmi is really good at this too. Is that um, you want to when you're doing online sales, you don't want to just put a picture of the product and then say, Hey, do you want to buy one? Like that, that doesn't, that doesn't really like work. You're probably pulling right. Yeah. Right here. Probably. Yeah. 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 yeah that's correct. And so we're just getting to our meeting here. Right. So you don't, you don't want to, you know, just put a picture of, of a product on your story and say, Hey, I'm taking orders. How many of you want this? right? Like, like this, how many of you want this? They're just like, what is that? So when you do digital sales, you want to put the benefits. Like there's a new machine being launched. Um, I've, I, you know, this can help with pain relief, body sculpting. Um, and what I like to do, actually, let's go a little deeper. I like to ask questions. I say, does anyone, is anyone looking for a magic machine that can just take away soreness in a few minutes? Like, wouldn't that be cool? Would anyone, would anybody interested in that? So I like to ask questions, qualifying questions, instead of just being like, hey, this product can do this, this, and this. Do you want that? You know, for lash serum, what if there was a plant-based, what if there was a plant-based water-based serum that could naturally help you to have longer appearing, healthier lashes? Is that something you would want? You know, so it's like more of an asking of questions. That way people are like, yeah, actually, I, I would like that. So you can have a conversation. So sales is really a two-way conversation, okay? Not a one-way propaganda. Propaganda is like a, like a commercial or sale. It's not a one-way sale. It, it's like a, like a promotion. It's a two-way conversation, okay, everybody? So this is the key. You're going back. It's like a volleyball, going back and forth, okay? Next one is going to be uh, sales uh, analysis. I, I love sale analysis. This is one of my favorite things. I don't you, I don't look like a very uh, analysis kind of a guy. Learn is, is that if you can actually track, if you can track the process of your sale, you will feel more confident. Okay, so sales analysis. And so... Um, how do you track the process? Okay. I've learned that I write down the people who I'm talking to, and then I also check to see if the sale went through, how, how long they've been on the product and how long they stay on the product. So for my analysis, what I've discovered, and you're going to do this just by having folders for people, having sticky notes. Um, most people don't know this, but when I first started, I wasn't very good at this. So I had to take like, for example, Leilani's name and I had it in a sticky note. She was 15 levels, Manny, 15 executives deep under David. I don't remember, remember David, but that's where Leilani was. 15 executives deep. Okay. Drive the line. She's in my front line now, right? I get, I get, I get commissioned now from Leilani. Finally. Great. Um, but, but in the beginning, I don't even know if she knows that I got zero commission the first two years of working with her. Um, but you just do this because you love people. Um, but, but analysis. 
So what I did is I wrote down like my analysis that if I had someone on a subscription product and they used it for three months, 86% of them, Annie, 86, 86% would stay on the product forever. So I said, oh my goodness, I need to get people on subscription. I need to follow them, track them, follow up with them, take care of them. We're going to talk about some of this and make sure that they are loving their products for at least three months. And then after that, you can kind of leave them alone, right? And then they're pretty much, they're, normally they'll just stay on the product. Um, I've been doing this for nine years now. And I have people probably just like Manny. I have people that have been, has been on subscription since day one, right? Manny, probably the first month in your business, we still have some of those, some of those, some of those people are still on our subscriptions, okay? So analysis. Now we're going to talk about a little bit of, of um, sales trainings and developments. So one way to develop, one way to develop your sales skills is by practicing. Okay, you can practice a couple different ways. Number one, you can practice with your upline. This is something that doesn't work too well. And you can, you can practice with your upline. That's something that I that I did. Um, Years ago, when I sold yellow pages, I sold phone book advertisement. And I, <laughs> that's why like, I can drive everywhere in Honolulu and I don't need a GPS because I know what typically the businesses, businesses are. So I, I sold yellow pages. Now, my boss, Manny, imagine this. I'm on the phone trying to make a sale and my boss would be sitting here with his face here, listening to me do my pitch, get my, my meetings, and try to close sales. Like, could you imagine someone just being in your ear? And, and what I learned about that is he would write for me. He would say, and this really helped me. So you and a friend get together either on Zoom or face-to-face, -face, like where we're sitting here. You make phone calls back and forth. Leilani makes a phone call. I listen in. I'm writing notes like, oh, talk about this point. Talk about that point. Like I'm making notes for her or do it for yourself. That's what I did because I didn't have someone near me. Um, and I, and I wrote my highlights of what I wanted to talk about before I got on the phone. And that really helped me in my development for sales because I would use the word like opportunity in America and that word didn't work very well. I used the word oportunidad in, in, in Latin America and that word worked perfectly with Latinos. So you just kind of have to like practice, take good notes of what you're doing and then develop your skills. But the best way, like I said, is do it with somebody. So like, okay, for an example, so for an example, you're going to write sticky notes. Okay, so if I'm going to call Ilani and I want to prospect her, number one, my first conversation is setting the appointment, nothing else, right? Yesterday, I was talking to my, uh, my sweetheart, Reina, and I was telling her how I invited my friend Gil, who's a good friend of mine. Manny, I just call my friend Gil. I said, Gil. I'm in town. I got a six pack of beer. I got some poo-poos where we call appetizers, appetizers in English. I got some appetizers and I want you to come show up, bring your kid. I haven't seen him. And uh, I just want to chat with you about some, about some things. I, and I want to catch up with you. And he's like, what is it? I go, nothing. I got, I got beer and I got food. Come and hang out. <laughs> that was like the invitation. So he showed up. And when he comes there, I'm doing the well spa. We have Bob House House, uh, uh, Manny. We have Bob's house and the swimming pool. So we're all like in our swimwear. We're doing body spa treatments on each other. And he walks in with his kid and he's like, What is that? That what tell me about this machine. What is this machine? And he's like, now he wants a machine. Like, and you know, like so easy, right? But it doesn't take a lot of effort sometimes. You just do it as seamless or effortless as possible, right? But developing your skills. Practice with friends, take good notes of what, what works and what doesn't work for you before you call people. And I think Raina, this might work really well. Is Raina still? Hopefully Raina's still here. Yeah, this might work really well for Raina because my, my sweetheart is a little shy, right? Sorry to like, on, you know, kind of highlight you on this, but like in the beginning, Manny, I was shy. I didn't know what to say. Like I couldn't just call Manny and be like, hey, Manny, hey, amigo, like we're launching this new technology. I thought of you that I catch you at a good time. Yeah, I did. Great. Hey, that is, you know, like now I'm, I can do it. But before I was like, oh, uh, what do I say? What do I like? Uh, so I would have to make notes for myself and say, okay, Manny, Manny loves his family. Okay, fam highlight family. Manny, Manny loves 
to travel. Okay, travel. Okay, Manny loves the Latino community. Okay, Latino community. What else does Manny love? I know Manny loves food. Manny loves food. Uh, what else does Manny like? Manny loves cars. I know that. Manny loves adventures. I know. I, I know Manny. Really, he's my. Tra- I see Manny all over the world. Right? I, Manny, I love you so much, my hermano. Like he's my one of my dearest brothers, closest to me ever, in New Skin, uh, and outside. But like I know him very well, so I know what to talk to Manny about. Manny, how would you like to this? I discovered a way, Manny, that you can travel with your family around the world. And I'm looking for a couple of sharp people. And I thought of you first. I need to have coffee with you like today. Let's meet at the Starbucks next to your house. You know, like, like just so simple, right? And I know, I know it sounds very easy when I do it, but that's because I've had over 15, 15 years, Manny. I've been in sales for probably over 15 years. And, and it, and it, and it, came with practice okay so i want everyone to just kind of write down practice 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 does not make perfect practice makes more practice i don't know there's nothing that's perfect so just practice perfect practice and so the next one is what are some challenges in sales so i got a couple minutes here we might go a little over because i want to we have only three more so what is a good cha- a challenge in sales challenge in sales is objections how many of you put a number put a number two in the chat? How many of you like objections? <clears throat> yeah, sales challenges. Thank you, Manny. How many of you like objections? Put a number two if you like objections. If you do not like objections, like you get afraid, because I don't see any twos here. Put a number three if you get afraid when someone says, I don't want that. Right? Two. Oh, Gabriella's a three. Okay, Michelle, two. Hey, Michelle, how's it? Okay, she's a two. Anybody else? I know I got more people on here, right? <clears throat> so two or three. Number two, you like objections. Number, okay. Oh, good. Annabelle, good. Thanks for being honest. I appreciate that. So be honest. If you don't like objections, put a number three. Now, I will help you to overcome some objections. Number one is to understand and to know what are the main type of objections. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Vicente. Thank you, everybody. Okay. So what is the main type of objections? What is the, can you guys put some objections that you, that you get? What is your, what is their like most objection that you're like, I would love to hear from Annabelle since Annabelle's on my team. Annabelle, what is the main objection that you're just like, 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 I don't know how to deal with that. What is like your main, like your main objection? No tengo tiempo. I don't have time. I don't use that. Oh, you guys are good. Oh, I love this. Okay. Here, I'm going to get ready for you guys. Ready? Okay, we'll start with the first one. No tengo tiempo. I don't have time. What is the first thing I say? Let's see if Leilani knows. What is the first thing I say if someone says, I don't have time or or, or I don't whatever? Perfect. Oh, oh, thank God. I'm so happy you said that. I was hoping. I was like, I hope I trained her right, man. She's been together a while. Perfect. Gabri- what is this? Gabriella, I don't have time. Perfect. I've been looking for you all week. I love people that don't have time because we need to move quickly and get you results immediate. If I can show you, listen to my words, if I can show you a way to do this without spending a lot of time, would you take a serious look? Perfect. I've been looking for you all week. And you kind of they smile, right? It's kind of the smile part. This is like, perfect. It's like, perfect, Gabriel. I've been looking for you all week. And they kind of like laugh together, right? You laugh. And then you're like, if I could show you a way to do this with little time that you have, would you take a serious look at the business? And normally they'll ask, well, how much time? And I'll just say, we'll get to that. But would you take a serious look? You know what I mean? And they normally will be like, okay. Like, I'll, I'll take a look, right? The next one is, I don't, I don't, you, I don't use that. And Gabriella, you mean like the devices? Be more specific, Gabriella. Like la, la máquinas or like, I don't use that. Here, let's see. Hold on. Let me see real quick. Good. You can unmute now. But what, what do you mean? Like, um, they tell me, uh, so I send the invitation for recruiting and um it mentions about the um the genetic uh technology or something like that and so they're like a girl just said 
I don't use that. Sorry, I don't like I don't want it. And so I said no, I got it. So, yeah, okay, hold so, on. so my basically question, are you texting or are you calling? Texting. <laughs> okay. So this is I love that you said that. So this is why I make phone calls because you can text somebody all the information. They could literally not watch any of it or really look at it and just say, I don't use that. Thank you much for your time. See you later. And you're just like, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Like you didn't, couldn't even get there. So this is why I actually make phone calls and I call them and I try to, and I do my best with my notes. And I know some people here will say, but texting is so much better. Well, not if you handle objections, it's really not. So do me a favor, Hermosa, try this. Try to call them and say, for let's look for somebody. We'll just say Erica, since we've been talking about Erica the entire time. So we'll just say like, I would call them and I would say, hey, Erica, did I catch you at a good time? So number one, clear the time. She goes, yeah, I'm fine. Or no, I have the baby in my hand or I'm washing dishes. I'll, I can't call you later. It's like, okay, of course. But normally it's like, can I catch, did I catch you at a good time? Yes. I would say, hey, Erica, I was, I was just thinking about you. And I wait. And they're like, what? Okay, well, like, what happened? I go, actually, I'm, I'm running out the door right now. But I saw this machine and we're launching a new technology at the end of the year. And I totally thought about you. I, girl, honey, sweetheart, buddy, whatever you say to them, girl, I got to show this to you. And they're like, well, what is it? I go, you know what? I'm running out the door. I can't explain it right now, but let's meet on either. If you're on zoom, we can meet on zoom or FaceTime, right? If you're not, if they're not in your area, but if you're in your area, let's meet at that Starbucks down the street from your house. Let's meet what day works for you Monday or Wednesday, you know, like Thursday or, or, or Saturday, right? This day or that day. Um, and why I do that is because your first, hopefully that helps you. Your, your, your first goal is not to sell product. Your first goal is to get an appointment. That's the part where people make mistakes is they think that I'm going to text people and close a sale. Like, I, I mean, maybe that works. I, I, I mean, yes, I have done that. I have closed sales from text messages. Yes. But if I'm inviting someone to look at a business, most of the time I will call my friends. Like I will call them I'm not because they're my friends. I call them especially if it's serious and this is a serious business. So I call them um, and I say, Hey, let's just meet. This is the area. And what I did in the beginning um, at Hermosa is I actually had bullet points. I wrote on paper on sticky notes. I had sticky notes all over my wall and I'd be like, Oh, clear the time. Hey, did I catch you at a good time? Oh, I'm running out the door. Hey, I'm, I, I, you know, I can't really explain it because I'm running out the door. Um, what, what, what date works for you this day or that day? This day, okay. I'm in the evening or in the, in the morning or in the afternoon. Afternoon, okay. See you at Thursday at 2 p.m. at the Starbucks next to your house. Like that, that's what I did. I always brought the meeting. Annabelle learned this yesterday. Annabelle, we bring the meeting to the people, right? Not bring the people to the meeting. So we, we got to bring the information to them, okay? Now, hopefully that helps. So try that. And the other one says too expensive. Oh my God, I love that. I, I totally love that. So if someone tells me, you know, this is kind of expensive and I go, you know what? You're absolutely right. Exactamente. Like you're totally right. And I smile at them and I kind of wait because they're waiting for me to, because what the people are waiting for you to do is when, if someone says, uh, Gabriela, if they said, oh, who said too expensive, uh, uh, Vin Vicent Vicentia. So this, uh, Vicentia. Yeah. So, um, we have it recorded. So I'll send the link and you guys can watch it again, Gabriella. Cause I don't know. I don't have it written down. I probably should, but I, I just come to my brain. Right. But so, so it's too expensive. So when someone says it's too expensive, I, they are normally waiting for you to say, well, actually, and, and like attack, right? That's normally what they're waiting. They're ready for that. And so I just say, you're absolutely right. It is, it is higher priced than what's out in the market. You're absolutely right. It is higher priced than what's in the market. What I've noticed, okay, so this technique is called feel, felt, found. Someone can put that in there. Feel, maybe Raina can type that. Feel, felt, found. It's too expensive. 
I understand how you feel. I felt the same way. What I found out was AgeLock had the best anti-aging technology and it works. And it's guaranteed. Do you want it with the pearls or with future serum? <laughs> Right, right, like, like it works, and so, like, right? so I, I don't, I don't even get, I don't get, I don't even let it bother me. I'm like, I know it's expensive. I mean, could you imagine two hundred dollars for a cleaning machine to wash my face? I used to use Dove hand soap that cost a dollar. Like now, I'm spending two hundred dollars on a machine. Like, yeah, it is expensive, and look at my face. I don't have any wrinkles. <laughs> it's worth it. Right. So that's kind of what I tell them. I'm just like, you're, you're correct. I understand how you feel. What I found was that it works. Uh, I, I understand how you feel. I, 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 I feel, I understand how you feel. I felt the same way. What I found out was that it works. And there's a lot of things in the market that don't work. So I want you to trust me and I want you to try it. And then, and then close the boca, just be quiet. And because they're thinking and then let them talk. Don't be the first one to talk. Once you handle the objection, just kind of be quiet and let them think. And that's the problem with a lot of people. They get nervous and they talk and that's, you kind of just want to wait. And I know one minute of waiting could seem like an hour, but it's not, it, it's just like a minute. Okay, what else do we got here? Um, yeah, so the main objections are going to be like, I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't like network marketing. I don't like sales. What was the other one? Time, money, don't like network marketing, don't like sales. And I don't know what the last one is, but there's five main objections. You want to just know what those main objections are and you want to role play that with your, with your upline. Okay. Um, I don't have money. Yeah. That's the one. I don't have money. Perfect. Manny, I've been looking for you all week. Let me show you how to do it without any money. <laughs> right. Let me show you how to do it without any money. My friend Grant Chapman was homeless, sleeping on his brother's couch. $20,000 in debt and had no money to start this business. He borrowed the money from his brother, who he already owed 20 grand to. I added an extra 1400 on top of that. And I borrowed the money. I bought my kits, sold my kits, started my global Newskin enterprise business. So let me show you how to do it without any money. Okay. Uh, if someone says, what is this about? And I go, great question. What are you looking for in your life that you would like to have more of? Right? Like, like, I don't know what it's about for them. Like for me, it's about time, freedom and liberty. That's what it is for me. Some people it's about anti-aging. Some people, you know, it's for other reasons. I think maybe me and Manny probably have the same reason, but other, a lot of people might just want an extra $500. I'm not looking for an extra $500. I'm looking for complete freedom. And so you want to ask them, well, what do you, what exactly are you looking for? What do you want more of? Right. And we'll get to the harder ones. We can do a whole one about handling objections. because we could do a whole 30 minutes on objections. Now, the last two here is your, uh, sales, um, ethics. So sales ethics, you definitely want to have a great behavior because you are creating a long-term customer relationship. So this is very important. Um, I've learned this the hard way. I learned this absolutely the hard way of losing my, not, I said something and I was just a little frustrated and I lost my ethics. And I was just like, I really regretted that actually. And, um, and, and so what I've learned to do is just to be more loving, caring, and have a pleasing personality no matter what happens. Okay. So, so if you want to know more about a pleasing personality, look up uh, uh, Napoleon Hill's talk on a pleasing personality. There's 25 traits 
of a pleasing personality and just follow those and you will double your sales by just listening to that. Last one is the future of sales. Where is sales going? Sales right now is going to a lot of technology, AI, chatbots, um, you know, um, future of like a professionals now. So everyone wants to be a professional. So the future is very bright for us here at Newskin because we're, we're getting into AI. We're getting into, you know, there's a chat GPT you can use there. There's a lot of amazing, a lot of amazing uh, tips and tricks that we already can use. So the future of sales right now is getting really digital. So how you can, how you can use that is you can use that by using your Stella app to send links. That's one way you can use that. Um, just by understanding where sales is going. And if I'm talking to a salesperson, I let them know right away that the world is changing. Wouldn't you agree? And they say, yes. And I go, have you noticed that people are now using more technology? Yes. Okay, great. We are partnered up with the largest um, genomics company on the future of anti-aging. And guess what? We were featured in Discovery Channel and Time Magazine for having the number one anti-aging technology. I need some help to launch this technology. You know, so that, that's kind of the, the spiel. So I'm going to let you go. We're like 15, we're 14 minutes over, but I really wanted to get that out to everybody. And I thank you everyone for your patience um, because they're, they're very um, simple tips, but the, I think the most important thing is practice. So don't wait, listen to me very clearly. Don't wait for your upline to practice with you. You call your upline, you call your sideline. You make the effort and say, hey, Alan's my app line. So I would call Alan. I don't wait for Alan. Alan doesn't call me. Like, Alan doesn't call me. He called me today because we had a call today. But normally I call Alan. So if you're in my downline, call me, <laughs> right? That's the best way you're going to get my attention is if you call me, except yesterday I didn't answer my phone, Annabelle, sorry. But I called her back today. Um, if you call me and say, Grant, I need to practice. Can we role play? That's the best thing you can ever do. So call them and say, hey, like, I, like for example, I would call Manny and say, hey, Manny, I don't have any time. I love your presentation. Wow, this is really intriguing, but I really don't have time to do this business, Manny. And then Manny can be like, oh yeah, he's role-playing. Okay, Grant. Well, hey, Grant, you know what I mean? And he can handle that objection of, I don't have any time. And then you can give on that word. Okay, so practice with your upline, your sidelines, um, and I think do uh, sorry, that's going to be one of the main things to do is practice, practice, practice. Lucy, you guys here. Have a great one.